Before we get fishing on the Mekong Lake, I'll just show you through the reception area what to expect when you come to Bung Blabuk. As you come into the main reception area on the right, this is where you grab your bread, your ram. Bread is 100 baht a bag. You can get some sliced bread here, 10 baht for a small bag of sliced bread. Small tackle shop, they sell floats, feeders, hooks. They've got some scents that you might want to add to the bread. Good selection of cold drinks. They've got a kitchen here, you can order up some Thai food. Carry on walking through and you'll get to the main lake. This is the Mekong Lake. You can see the cage just here. If you get a big fish, they want you to take the photos in this cage in the water. They don't want you lifting it out onto the bank. Over on the left hand side behind that tin shed that you can see is where you'll find the carp lake and then walk past the carp lake you'll find the predator lakes. Today we're going to be fishing on the far bank so we have to walk over this rickety bridge. You can see Richard is going to be fishing on the left there. And me and Dennis will be fishing on the right, straight out from the decking area. Cut this out, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you have to keep this part in. Where's the fish? Bird's nest. <laughs> uh, the new Akuma bait runner. And that drag is. Fifty bar. <laughs> How heavy do you reckon it is? Uh, shouldn't talk about it. We haven't got the scale, so. <laughs> Thirty-five kilos or something. Somewhere around there.
up. Get nice and easy. Feeder, swivel, what, arm length, hook, little foam, little foam boiler. Yeah, come down. Still looking for that monster though. I hooked into a fish that almost spoiled my line. It just ran straight to the end of the lake. I had no, no way of stopping it. It put me on the back end. All the braid was out. I was on the mono back end. Luckily, the fish just ran out of room. It just hit the bank. So I was able to get around the lake and start fighting it. Found out I'd hooked a big Mekong in the tail. No surprise, I couldn't stop it on its initial run. Luckily, it just ran out of room. Where's the head? There's a rod here. Uh... a pain in the ass. You come for a photo. Oh my god. See the size of that tail. Oh. How do I make a fit? Uh, how do I make a photo? Oh. If I want to make a photo, how do I do it? I uh, just do the video. Uh -huh. Do the video. I'll take the screenshots. Yeah, Look at the camera. The size of that tail. Yeah, that's gonna be a nice thumbnail. Oh, look at the size of that head. <laughs> Okay, Hawk. Thank you for almost spooling my reel. I can be like a uh, long, long. Bye bye.
beer. Beer. <laughs> Unfortunately, the hook caught his eye, so this is now a blind meat gong. But this meat gong's been through the walls already. I can't be asked to hold it for too long. Let's put it back. What am I doing? Okay, let me get this net off this fish. Turn him so much the heads are together. Yep. One, two, three. Yeah. How much per rod? 150 baht. Oh, somebody just broke off. 150 baht. Bunks them around. 4,000 baht as a tourist. You make your own mind up. He's got snails in his mouth. Okay. Oh, one, two. <laughs> looks nice. It looks nice. Last cast of the day, I was bringing my other rod in it and I got a little bonus fish. Whew. There's worse ways to win the day. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Come on, come back here.
Yeah. It's definitely worse ways to end the day. Bye bye, Mr. Mekong. Go home. So that's the Mekong leg done. Now we're going to move on to Amazon BKK. That'll be the fourth day of this trip. Hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. See you soon.